Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Behind me here we have two of the FPT, Fiat Powertrain Technology, NEF 400 marine engines. Uh, these engines here are set at 400 horsepower at 3000 RPM. They're an inline 5.9 litre common rail fuel injected engine. So these two engines are built in Italy. Uh, we've recently received them over here into Perth, Western Australia, where at the moment we're just conducting our pre-delivery run up and testing um, before we bolt on the gearboxes, run them up again and supply them to the client. These engines are a very delightful motor. They're honestly one of my favourites in the FPT lineup. So I'll give you a bit of a run around them as we go. So what we have here is a single turbocharger, turbocharged intercooled arrangement, or in this specifically aftercooled. Uh, these are a whole set turbocharger, which you can see there, a nice simple arrangement. From there, the charge air runs down this pipe on the angle here, down and into the aftercooler. This charge air aftercooler is a seawater cooled aftercooler with two sacrificial anodes in it. And from there, the air runs straight up through the tubes, from the tube stack, up through and straight into the intake manifold. Whilst we're here, you can see exactly here is our common rail line with the six individual injection lines running through into the engine. And then you'll see we've also got one, two and three plugs tucked in there, which are the electronic controls on top of the motor, just underneath the tappet cover there. Um, tucked down here, that's where our uh, seawater pump is located, just with a rubber impeller in there. You'll see that we have a spin-on fuel filter, nice and easy to lo locate there. Uh, just there, that there is the potentiometer, or POT as it's uh, sometimes called, and that allows us to adjust the engine RPM unless we use electronic controls, in which case it is electronically controlled through the ECU. Come around, you'll see we've got the uh, closed circuit coolant header tank here. Um, alternator tucked there, this is a 12 volt engine, however we can also get these in 24 volt if required. There is a slightly larger model which is available from 450 horsepower all the way up to 570 horsepower which are the same in physical uh, shape and size however they are slightly larger in displacement up at 6.7 litres. As I come along you'll see we've got an oil filter simple spin on tucked in right there and this here is the main freshwater seawater heat exchanger. Um, every engine from THT is standard comes with uh, a wet exhaust riser right there which sends both the exhaust gas and the excess or all of the raw water straight out the back. Um, gearbox oil coolers included as of standard and these here are an SAE3 with an 11 and with an 11 inch flywheel. I'll bring you around now. These are the digital control panels which we supply as of standard. So for this client here you can see that we have both the main which is the one with the key and then the flybridge which is the one with the push buttons on it. Um, these are a four inch digital display which we can cycle through all the information which is applicable to the engines. Well, while you're here, we'll turn the key and uh, show you how they sound. So you can see we're running around about 600 RPM at idle at the moment. Oil pressure is good. 0.2 of an hour so far runtime on these motors and 35 degrees Celsius. The engines themselves are very smooth as I reach down I'll give it a quick rev. Generally they are a very, very nice and smooth engine, of which we can use them for both pleasure and commercial application. Uh, these two will be installed very shortly into a pleasure vessel and we'll show you some videos once they're installed. Thank you.